Good morning, everyone. My name is Gian Paolo Haveliana, licensed broker and in-house senior sales director of Megrold Corporation. This morning, I will be giving you a presentation about the Upper East Bacolod. But first, let me give you an introduction about who is Megrold Corporation. Megrold Corporation is founded by Dr. Andrew Tan and is in the business of real estate development for more than 33 years already. Our company pioneer in urban township development, a self-sustainable community, or a, sit a small city within a bigger city where you can live, work, play, learn, and shop all at the same time. Also, Megold Corporation is the Philippines' largest condominium developer as well as the country's largest office building developer and landlord. Here in the city of Smiles, we have two township projects, namely the North Hill Gateway and the Upper East. For the purpose of this uh, presentation, we will be focusing with the Upper East. The Upper East is a 34 hectare township development located at the former Bacolod Murcia Milling Company in Barangay Villamonte. This township is, is set to be the city's future central business district similar to the likes of Makati and Bonifacio Global City. In the future, the Upper East would look similar to this picture right in front of us. As you will notice, all of the buildings here are actually uh, low-rise to mid-rise only. However, in the present, this is how the site as well as the current development looks like. It is notable in this picture that in this lower part, in this lower right part, you can see the Lopez East as well as the Lopez East Mall Annex. And on the left side, you'll be seeing, you can see the current construction of the one Regis and the current construction of the two Regis. One of the main competitive advantages of the Upper East is its location. Why? Because the Upper East is actually located in the center of Bacolod City and sandwiched among three major road networks, namely the Burgos Avenue, Lopesina Street, and the Circumferential Road. Not to mention that the Upper East is only three to five minutes walk away from the Bacolod City Hall, also known as the New Government Center. This is the site development plan of the Upper East. As you will notice, most of the developments will be, will be located near the area of the Lopez East Mall or the area of the Circumferential Road. Here you can see uh, the site of the future McDonald Upper East, which is scheduled to be completed this coming October 2022, as well as the Mega World Showroom, which is scheduled to be completed by the first quarter of 2023. You will also see here the number one Upper East Avenue and the number five Upper East Avenue. Both are uh, business process outsourcing office buildings that are under construction. And here you would see the location of the residential condominiums by which we are offering to, uh, to interested investors, namely the one Regis, the two Regis, the one Manhattan, and the Herald Park Suites. Also in this picture, on this site development plan, you will also notice the dark green boxes with the label mixed use development. This dark, uh, dark green boxes are actually allotted for office buildings or commercial establishments by which majority of them, majority of them will definitely be uh, business process outsourcing office buildings, something that Megarod is actually known for. Here, 20% of the Upper East will be allotted for residential, while the 80% will be allotted for commercial, specifically for office buildings, malls, hotels, 
commercial establishments, a church, a museum, a transport hub, and many more else. So you might be wondering, why should you invest at the Upper East? So number one, real estate as a hedge against inflation. Last May 2022, the Banco Central of the Philippines inflation projection for the year 2022 was pegged at 4.6%. However, for the month of, two of June 2022, inflation hit as a height of 6.1%. So meaning, prices of goods and commodities in the economy increases at a rate at a rate of 6.1 percent therefore real estate is actually a very great is a great hedge for possible investment risk and losses not to mention that capital appreciation at mega world is actually between to 15 percent annually second real estate is a or Name or specifically the Upper East is actually a is, is actually an investment perfect for rental. Why? Is that the Upper East will simply be Bacolod City's future central business district as well as a tourist destination showcasing the city's past, past, present, and future. Third one is that the Upper East is a township development. It's not just your conventional development, but instead it is an integrated urban community where you can simply live, work, play, learn, and shop all at the same time. Fourth, location and accessibility. The Upper East is located at the heart of the city and sandwiched between the major road networks of the Lopezina Street, Burgos Avenue, and the Circumferential Road. And lastly, they say birds of the same feathers flock together. In a township where 80% of the development is allotted to commercial and office buildings, the value of residential properties will likewise appreciate at the same rate uh, as the same rate of commercial establishments. That's what they call capital appreciation. So what are you waiting for? Start investing now and start with the Upper East Pakalan. So in choosing for a unit, one must take into consideration what view will you prefer. To the left side of this picture, we have the view of the West. From the on the west side, you can enjoy the view of the center of Bacolod City, as well as the Gimara Strait or the sea view, and lastly, the sunset. On the right side of this picture, we have the view of the east, by which you can enjoy the view of the Negros Mountain Ranges, by which the sun rises, and most notably, the view of Mount Kadlaon. So right now, I will be talk. I will be discussing the residential condominium unit, uh, condominium projects that we are in, uh, offering interested investors. First is the two regions, by which it is scheduled to be completed by September twenty twenty three. The second one is the one Manhattan, by which it is scheduled to be completed by May twenty twenty four. And the third and last is the Herald Park Suites, by which it is scheduled to be completed by April 2027. So, among these three condominium, uh, uh, condominium uh, project developments, which is actually perfect for you in terms of the timeline or the completion date? Or, you do not care about the timeline. Price is the most important consideration. So let's incorporate the price per square meter. For the two regions, prices of the unit starts at 158000 per square meter. For the one Manhattan, prices of the unit starts at 154000 per square meter. And for the Herald Park Suites, Prices of the condominium of the condominium units starts at one hundred eighty-two thousand per square meters. If you do the comparison to Regis, 
which is scheduled to be completed by next year with a price of 158,000 per square meter. One Manhattan, which is scheduled to be completed in two years from now, and priced at, uh, at 154,000 per square meter. And Herald Park Suites, which is scheduled to be completed around five years from now, or 2027, and price starts at 182,000 per square meter. So let me revise my previous question. Which condo project is best suitable to your timeline and budget? For the purpose of this presentation, I will be discussing all the three condominium project developments. So first is the two regis, which is scheduled to be completed by September 2023. The two regis has a total number of units of 310 with 14 floors, and all of the units will be delivered pre-furnished or semi-furnished. In this case, for the two regis, all of the kitchen cabinets, granite countertop, as well as the stove range hood and the cabinet are all uh, part of the package. Special feature of the two regions includes a sky garden at the 12th and the 8th floor, as well, as well as amenities such as main lobby and reception area, daycare center, lap pool, a fitness center, and a function room. Currently, as of July 5, 2022, the availability of the two regions includes a studio unit with balcony with an area of 31 square meters and price starts at 4.9 million pesos. If you want a bigger unit or probably the big, one of the biggest cuts uh, for a unit at the Upper East, it are the two-bedroom unit with balcony for the two regions. You have a choice of a 79-square-meter two-bedroom unit with balcony or an 87-square-meter two-bedroom unit with balcony. For this unit, star our price starts at 12.7 million pesos. Next is the one Manhattan which is scheduled to be completed by May 2024. The one Manhattan has a total of 260 units and 14 floors. All the units at the one Manhattan will also be uh, delivered pre-furnished or semi-furnished. Special feature of the one Manhattan is that it has a roof deck uh, lounge and penthouse by level units. As you can see in this picture, this portion of the building where it's colored white, this is actually the penthouse floor by which all of the units there, one bedroom, two bedroom, and three bedroom units are actually all loft and by level units, meaning they have a first floor and they have a second floor. Amenities of the one Manhattan includes a main lobby, a pool with jacuzzi, a two-story fitness center, a wall climbing area, a mini golf area, a game room, a play area, and a function room. Personally speaking, I believe that One Manhattan is currently the condominium to beat here in Bacolod City. Why? It is simply a condominium built to suit the personality and the likes of people of Bacolod. As of July 5, 2022, the availability of the One Manhattan includes a studio unit with balcony with an area of 31.5 square meters and an area of 33 square meters. Price starts at 4.8 billion pesos for the studio with balcony. The One Manhattan also has a one-bedroom unit with balcony with an area of 50.5 square meters and another one-bedroom unit with an area of 50 square meters. Price starts at 8.5 million pesos. And lastly, the One Manhattan has an available one-bedroom skyloft or penthouse unit with balcony with an area of 66.5 square meters and price starts at 10.7 million pesos. Just to give you an idea, the one Manhattan is one of the two condominiums in Bacolod City which offers 
penthouse loft and by level units. So this unit, this specific unit, which is 14th floor unit S, this is the last remaining unit, penthouse, by level uh, or loft one bedroom unit that you can find in Bacolod City. So if you're interested, this is a unit that you will you will never regret having having or investing with. And lastly, we have the Herald Park Suites. The Herald Park Suites is scheduled to be turned over on April 2027. It has a total units of 246 and, and 12 stories. All of the units are will also be delivered pre-furnished or semi-furnished. The special feature of the Herald Park Suites include a smart home and green and sustainable features, a first of its kind here in Bacolod City. Amenities include main lobby, a pool, a two-story fitness center, a, a bar, play area, private dining, reading nook, game room, function room, a daycare center, and many more else. As of July 5, 2022, the availability of Herald Park Suites includes a studio unit with balcony with an area of 27 square meters starting at 4.9 million pesos. It also has a one-bedroom unit with balcony with an area of 38.5 square meters and price starts at 7 million pesos. And lastly, it has a two-bedroom unit with balcony with an area of 56 square meters or another two-bedroom unit with balcony with an area of 79 square meters. For this specific unit, Price starts at 10.2 million pesos. So, what is your preferred condominium project based on the timeline and the price? And second, ask yourself, what is your preferred unit type? Now it's time to talk about the prices, discounts, and payment options. Let's continue with the sample competition. But before, you have to choose your unit, the project, so that I can prepare you the sample computation. To end this presentation, once again, I am Gian Paolo Javiliana, in-house senior sales director of Megworld Corporation. Thank you and have a good day.